show that the planes 5x minus y plus 3z is equal to 12 and 10x minus 2y plus 6z is equal to minus 20 are parallel and find the distance between them. So if we were writing plane 1 and plane 2, this is the symbols we use for plane, in normal vector form, which is r dot n is equal to d, then the first plane will be r dot 5 minus 1, 3, that comes from 5 minus 1, 3 is equal to 12, and the second plane will be r dot 10 minus 2, 6 is equal to minus 20. If we call this the normal vector of plane 1 and this the normal vector of plane 2, we can very clearly see that the normal vector of plane 1 is some multiple of normal vector plane 2. In fact, it's half of it. And therefore, the normal vectors are parallel and therefore the planes are parallel as well. So, if we uh, go to GeoGebra for a minute and we'll click to see the planes there. I've got the first plane here and this plane here. Notice they are on different uh, sides of the origin. If I uh, do a line going through the origin which is perpendicular to it, and this is the normal unit vector to both planes using the most simplified form, then I this from here to here is the distance. If I put it in normal vector form where the ve normal vector is the unit, unit normal vector, then the value of d at the end gives me the distance of the plane from the origin. Therefore, I can work out the distance of the plane from the origin of that one, and the distance of the plane of the origin from that one, and then add them together. Now, if the distance comes out to be negative and one's positive, that means that the both planes are on different sides of the origin. So all I need to do is take that one, which will be positive, and add the uh, magnitude of this distance, this is actual distance will be negative to get the total distance. If they're both on the same plane, same plane, same side of the origin, then what I'd have to do is I'd have to take the big one and take away the distance of the small one to find the distance between them. And we'll see this in this particular example. So there's a diagram. These are the planes. This is the first plane. This is the second plane. We're now going to use this format of it because it's much more simple because we know that this is a multiple. This one's a multiple and this one, so we use its most simplified form. This is r dot 5 minus 1, 3 is equal to 12, and therefore this one will now be r dot 5, 1, 3 is equal to minus 10. Now, just writing that out again very quickly. If we rewrite now the planes into the unit vector form, it will be r dot the unit vector is equal to d. Now d here now has a ge geometrical significance. It gives you the distance from the origin to the perpendicular distance in the plane. So it gives you the distance, the shortest distance of the plane from the origin. Now this one will be positive. We're going to call that. Right, the if the signs are different, then they're on different sides of the origin. So this one here will be positive, we're going to call that D1, and this one here will be negative. So what I'm going to do is take each of these and now rewrite them in this format. So first of all, we're going to find the unit normal vector, which is the vector divided by its magnitude. So I'm going to write the unit, uh, the vector is 5i minus j plus 3k, 5, 1, 3. And then underneath we're going to divide it by its magnitude, so it's the square root of 5 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 3 squared. So it's going to give me 25 plus 1, which is 26, plus 9, which is 35, so it's the square root of 35. So the unit vector will be 1 over root 35 of 5 minus 1, 3. This means that this vector has a length of 1. So the 
in unit vector form, the first plane becomes r dot 1 over the square root of 35, 5 minus 3, minus 1, 3, which is equal to 12 over root 35. So that now means that this distance here is from here to here, 12 over root 35. And then for the second one, again it will still be 1 over root 35, will be 5 minus 1, 3 dot. And the distance at the end will be minus 10 over root 35. Now the fact that this has come out to be negative means that all it is is this plane is on a different side of the origin because normally in an exam you wouldn't actually draw these diagrams. So it tells you on a different side of the origin. So to find the actual distance between here and here, which is what you're being asked to find, you take that one and you add the magnitude of that one to it. If this plane had been on this side, then what you do, you take the big one and then you take away the little one and that would give you the distance between the two planes. If they're on the same side, then both the signs here will be the same. So the distance between the planes is going to be equal to 12 over root 35 plus the absolute value of 10 over root 35, which is going to give you 22 over root 35, or 22 times root 35 over 35, if you rationalise it. If we want to look at this at different angles, which we can do, there we go, we can have a look at it at some different angles, and or you can see very clearly that those planes are parallel, and that this distance here to here will be 22 over root 35, which is about 3.72.